The panopticon is a type of prism system, where each cell is arranged in a circle with the watchtower in the center, which allows prisoners to be under constant surveillance. Because of the idea of the panopticon, this type of prism system serves as a metaphor for surveillance in other aspects, including the digital world. Social media in particular relies on the sharing of interpersonal relationships and visibility. Without access to the sharing of this personal information, the sites themselves simply would not exist. In digital media and society, Andrew White talks about how, no matter what way we use digital media, there is always one issue that comes along with it, surveillance. You are always being monitored because data is always being collected about you. Since this data can never truly be deleted from databases, digital media serves as a new type of government surveillance that traps the general public inside a panopticon of our own creation. Through the process of narrowing in on exactly what makes us prisoners of this new type of surveillance, it was useful to refer back to the idea of the control society. Control society is centered around the concept that institutions of authority, such as schools, are conditioning us as a society to think in a certain way, therefore controlling our actions. Because of the way the world is set up, users feel a tremendous social pressure to join social media. This is a result of the normalization of its use, effectively conditioning us as a society to act a certain way. However, this control quickly turns into surveillance the second an individual uses social media. According to White, whenever we access our digital selves, we are creating data that can be tracked as habits. The government then uses this data to keep an eye on society. While these concepts are present on every type of social media, it is most prevalent on Facebook. Because of the extreme accessibility of data on Facebook, police and other investigative forces often use this extensive research to surveil people. An example of this was when ICE agents used the platform to track and contact legal immigrants. Once these suspects were located, the ICE agents then made fake accounts to gain the trust of these individuals and lure them into raids. In one specific case, undocumented woman Diaz Tato was contacted by these fake accounts and agreed to meet a man to sell a piñata. Upon arrival, she was arrested by ICE agents and then deported. While this is an extreme case, it accurately depicts how government officials connect data and surveillance and use social media as a means of enforcing the law, no matter the violation of privacy. When the reality of surveillance becomes too alarming, people often turn to science fiction as a means of escape, unaware that these stories actually serve as a cautionary tale. Science fiction is often pushed to the side, scoffed at, and denied the title of meaningful literature, despite its rewarding qualities. It forces its readers to contemplate much larger concepts within our society, rather than trying to depict a plausible future. The Circle, a science fiction novel by Dave Eggers, focuses on the idea of constant surveillance, similar to the idea of the panopticon. The main character quite literally broadcasts every second of her day on a social media site. Instead of the message of transparency that she is hoping to promote, this character only brings chaos into her life, while also allowing the government to secretly collect data about the site's users behind their backs. The message of this story is that, when government and large corporations can use social media to collect data, they will abuse this opportunity. This novel allows us to think about how too much visibility can be frightening by reminding us that social sites can be used to track insane amounts of data on individuals. As we transition to a world dominated by social media, this novel is less of science fiction prediction and more and more being reflected in the reality of the digital panopticon in which we live. Through reviewing the concept of the control society, the case study of Facebook, and the cautionary tale of the circle through science fiction, the idea of the panopticon constantly appears. As we can see, social media and surveillance go hand in hand. You can never truly be online without being surveilled.